when you think of 2016 as if music I mean there are so many a lot of great things that happened uh, this year 2016 uh, music wise I mean all the I mean besides the all the the best music moments of 2016. I mean, 2016 rocking the fields are festival and it was natural. I mean, if you look at it from a standpoint, it was another great year for rocking the fields. I don't know. That was, I mean, I mean, say what you want, it's really your real lineup. Another great moment of 2016 from this year was seeing from Ashes to New, Five Finger Death Punch, Papa Roach, 6 a.m. in Saskatoon. That, I mean, this year, I mean, I can go on and on about seeing Five Hundred Death Punch, Papa Roach, from Ashes to New at 6 a.m. I was just like, holy shit, it's like, four bands in one night? I was just like, ooh. My mind was just like spinning, but uh, fortunately we did stay for the whole uh, the whole set of fucking dress punch. We got out there early. Uh, we got out there just in nick time when we came home. I, I don't remember this moment. We got out of when we left the parking lot at the South Tele Center when we did a little pit stop. This was above. I'm pretty sure it was those boats. Uh, midnight. The little, little bit so we didn't come home to like, I think like two or three in the morning. And it was like next day already. And I did eventually fell asleep that night. I mean, I was. Probably to get away. I probably I'm not sure what like this is it, that that just that moment of being tasked to all day seeing Five Rivers Punch, Papa Roach, Ash Luke six AM. It was a long night and I mean it was just like next day I was just like, true story, very true story, uh, that is where I was, I actually got a concert from action from the, from, from scene, from this punch. 6 a.m. Papa Roach asks me. You could, uh, when, when, I, when I think of it, this was the one that I wanted to get. Yeah, so seeing Papa Roach, Papa Roach, 6 a.m. asks me. That, that night, it, I mean, that was, that was, uh, I, I was uh, very sold on, uh, on it. I mean, 2016, I mean, there was a lot of great music moments that uh, happened. And it was just like, it, it was just so surreal. Um, it was back in August. 
from against the material. Seeing it really helps uh, big uh, performance that they did. And, you know, the concert is, I thought this could have been the last we ever seen Bradford yet because of Gord Downey's uh, cancer that he, uh, he was diagnosed with uh, prior to the whole the whole thing. I thought this could have been the last time we ever seen Gord Downey. I thought I'm saying to myself I, I, I remember the moment when Gord Downey was diagnosed with cancer. I thought to myself, we don't need another. We don't. I was. I mean, it, it, I mean, it could happen. I mean, I thought to myself, oh, not in that position as as uh, big dust. But just I remember the moment back in August, seeing Josh move on TV. Performance and I, and I did uh, uh, the whole thing uh, of it. Speaking of tragedy, yeah. uh, I, think I did manage to pick up a copy of their album. Yep, that was live between us. My first, uh, my first, uh, tragically album, this one, I mean, this one in particular, it was just like a head by a century. I was just like, yes, this is a song I, I will be covering. I will be doing a cover of it coming very soon. You guys will see this first. But, uh, yeah, I'm just seeing tragically hip. I was just like, holy shit, this is like something very rare you don't see from a band like Traveling performing. I mean, it's like once and once in a lifetime. Um, also, 2016, I mean, another musical moment I, I remember for a long time. It was at a recent uh, award show. Seeing the Eagles uh, performing with Dax Brown, tribute to uh, Cliff Fry. Most people want to know what was your reaction when you first found out that Glenn Fry did his possibly. I was just like, I, I couldn't believe it because you know just already uh, and I hate to sometimes go off shoot sometimes I myself huge Eagles fan because I myself grew up into the band I mean, ever since ever since Hotel California came out I was just like I was, uh, I was really just kind of like, just blew my mind. I was just like, another surreal moment of, of uh, 2016, the passing of Dave Bowie. That was like, it almost felt like I got kicked south of the equator. I think about what Dave Bowie, what he, what he meant as a, as an icon, as a, as a musician, as a fashion nista. I mean, his, his passing kind of, it was kind of like it was swept under a rug. I mean, I thought, okay, I thought, a news outlet was gonna like mention that Dave only passed away, but uh, I mean, actually, it did. Uh, CTV News uh, 
Frank was the first to uh, uh, break the story and I was just like, I, I, I was, I was so devastated, I was just like shocked, I was just like in awe of like Dave Owey that all of us like, another big surreal music moment was a singer Prince passed away and I do remember this moment that it was yesterday just found out online right out of the blue singer Prince passed away I was just like holy shit that was just like my 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 heart kind of like skipped a beat for a second and my jaw was just like I was like this holy shit I, I, I could I could believe it and I was just like it almost felt like I, I, I had to swallow my pride the biggest music shocker was the passing of Larry Cohn. I don't know most people are out there who kind of like, kind of feel the same way. I mean, what Larry Cohn brought to the music room as a poem person, poetic person in his music, it's almost like you're reading a poem. I mean, I think, but Larry Cohn really meant like he was somebody touch of two foot pole. I mean his music, I mean I think when you think of uh Marco music was big big song that really popular. Hallelujah. I mean I can go on and on about the song itself because that was a one big song that I was so hooked on. Of Marco uh, Hallelujah. I mean that song itself has been covered any any big name artist or any big name band. The most shocking music deaths that really kind of caught me off guard was Warren Megadestro and Nick Menza. That I was just like, you kind of saw it coming. You never heard of it. But the biggest music shocker. Of all the time that really kind of uh, was uh, how 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 would I put it? Uh, that was kind of, kind of start of something was four solo pilots smaller bowler from and Scott Wilhelm dead. I was just like, holy shit! I I, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, we all know that was going to happen and it's kind of like you think of Scott Wynn's uh, legacy what he, what he brought or what he meant you know his his whole life was all Scott Wynn's life was all messed up because of drugs alcohol and he thought he was going to like keep the drug habit a la Lenny Motorhead but uh, Scott Wynn I mean good singer I mean, so a pilots like that, that was his, that was, that was, that was his baby, that, that, that was his one band that he really made that band, uh, like, stuck to a wall of glue. But if you look at his legacy, what he meant, I know he was all messed up because he was all dumped up on drugs and all that, and eventually, I don't remember, Skull, uh, Solo Pots uh, had it with him, and they were like, you're gone. And they kicked him out of the group and he went on to his old run. And eventually, he got on later in his career, he did form an adult revolver. Which, I mean, it was kind of like Scott Wall, he had to keep himself busy. And then he did form his, uh, another group called the Wild Bugs. So it was basically like just some super group, or whatever, that he formed. And also, he did form another group called Art and Art and Anarchy. It was basically another big name super group, 
but uh, eventually Beast Star Wars pa passing really, really was like, was kind of like the, the, the big blow to the music world. Another passing um, uh, in the music business, I mean, there are these other artists that really aren't big name decisions. Um, the fifth member of the Beatles, Sharon Jones and the Dockings, Harwell Mitchell. Gibson 